My dear friends, ponder this for a moment. What does it truly mean to approach God's gates with gratitude in your heart? Or what does it look like to serve the Lord with joy? Today, I will uncover the treasures concealed within each verse of Psalm 100, a passage that encourages us to embrace joy, service, thankfulness, and the knowledge of God's eternal truth. I will also lead you in a powerful prayer, so stay tuned until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. Before we delve into the essence of this powerful psalm, let me quickly set the stage for our understanding. In 2 Chronicles 20 21, we read about a king who appointed singers to honor God's sacred majesty as they went out before the army, proclaiming, Praise the Lord, for his mercy endures forever. Like these singers, Psalm 100 invites us to engage in our spiritual battles with praise and thanksgiving. This psalm is not just an invitation to worship, but a proclamation of God's enduring love and faithfulness towards us. Now let's explore the depths of each of these five profound verses. The psalmist begins with an enthusiastic and spirited invitation. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all you lands. This is not merely a call, but a directive to every nation under heaven to acknowledge the sovereignty of God with cheerful and lively praise. Recognize that praise is also a form of spiritual warfare. When Joshua led the Israelites around the walls of Jericho, it was with the shout of the people that the walls came tumbling down. Joshua 6, 20, 21. Praise is a testimony and a weapon against discontentment and despair. In Luke 19, 40, Jesus mentions that if we are silent, the stones would immediately cry out. This highlights the creation is poised to worship, and each one of us is given the privilege to voice this worship. Praise is a reflection of our joy in the Lord, and Nehemiah 8, 10 reminds us that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Our praise is not limited to our victories, but becomes a witness to those around us just as Paul and Silas praised God in prison, leading to an earthquake that opened the doors of the jail. Acts 16, 25, 26. How can your praise become a testimony to those around you? Furthermore, praise is a prelude to service. Psalm 100, 2 goes on to say, Serve the Lord with gladness. Our service to God begins with the joy in our hearts expressed in praise. Praise is an expression of thanksgiving, setting the stage for the entire psalm. In the Gospel of Luke 17, 15, 16, we read of the one leper who, upon being healed, returned to give thanks. Is your praise a reflection of your joy in the Lord? Praise transcends the walls of our churches or places of worship. While sacred gatherings lift our spirits, our worship should be a continuous celebration of God's presence in every corner of our existence. As we move into the second verse of Psalm 100, the psalmist encourages us to serve the Lord with gladness, come before His presence with singing. Serving God with joy signifies a voluntary and eager attitude. King David, despite his imperfections, is described as a man after God's own heart in Acts 13.22. He fulfilled God's will and served the Lord with gladness. Our service should mirror the heart of Christ, who came not to be served but to serve. Mark 10.45 Coming before God's presence with singing is like entering a celebration of love that He has prepared for us, as expressed in the Song of Solomon 2.4. It reflects a heart at peace, content in knowing that it stands before a kind and loving God. Singing in God's presence is a joyful encounter with our Creator. The third verse of Psalm 100 compels us to acknowledge God's ultimate authority and our identity in Him. In Genesis 1 27, we find the revelation of our identity as made in the image of God. Recognizing that the Lord is God places Him rightly on the throne of our lives. It demands a response of worship and submission. This verse also reminds us of our dependence on God, as stated in Job 33. 4. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me life. Understanding that we are His people, and the sheep of His pasture, establishes our privileged position, and the tender care we receive from our shepherd. Psalm 23 beautifully captures this relationship. We are called to trust in God's guidance and provision, just as sheep trust in the guidance and provision of their shepherd. The fourth verse invites us to Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. This is not just an invitation to a place, but to an attitude of worship that should saturate our approach to God. Thanksgiving as our entry point signifies that we recognize and remember God's goodness and faithfulness. It is transformative and aligns our words and hearts with the reality of God's greatness. To bless his name is to speak well of God, giving him the honor and glory that is due to him. Blessing His name is an act that aligns our words and hearts with the reality of God's greatness. Our worship should be responsive, reflecting the joy that comes from knowing God. Community worship, where we come together to give God thanks and praise, is a vital part of our spiritual discipline. 
To bless his name is to recognize the power and authority in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus embodies the entirety of God's power and authority, as stated in Colossians 2, 9. The fifth verse provides the assurance that forms the foundation of all our praise and worship. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. The Lord's goodness is inherent to his character. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth speaks to the reliability of his promises and his word, as affirmed in Matthew 24, 35. This foundation guarantees that we are part of something eternal and unshakable. The permanence of God's attributes ensures that we are part of something eternal and unshakable. As we contemplate the depths of Psalm 100, let us understand that the act of worship brings about a comprehensive renewal of our being. It calls us to joyfully serve the Lord, recognize the beauty of our relationship with Him, enter His presence with hearts overflowing with gratitude, and stand firm on the foundation of His enduring goodness, mercy, and truth. May we embrace these truths, allowing them to shape our identity, guide our worship, and renew our commitment to God and to each other. Let us be people who truly know the Lord, serve Him with gladness, and proclaim His love from generation to generation. Now to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. Let us pray to our gracious and merciful God. Heavenly Father, the Maker of heaven and earth, my Lord and my God, I thank you and praise your glorious name. I am grateful for your unfailing love and your boundless grace that makes all the good difference in our lives. I exalt your name above all else for you are good and your mercy endures forever. You are the rock of ages, my shield and my stronghold, and I praise you with every breath that I take. Lord, as I come before you humbly, forgive me of my trespasses. I also forgive those who have wronged me. Cleanse and renew my spirit, dear Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare this day to be filled with your holy presence. I rebuke every plan of the enemy to steal my joy or disrupt my peace. I bind the forces of darkness in the name of Jesus, and I pray that the fruits of the Spirit will manifest within my life according to your divine will. I pray for an increase in faith, hope, and love, and for your abundant blessings to overflow in every area of my life and in the life of my loved ones. As I place my loved ones before you, let your hand be upon us and lead us in paths of righteousness in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak healing over our bodies. Let every cell and tissue, every system, every bone and joint align with your promises of health and healing. Merciful Father, I ask for your hedge of protection around us as we go about each day. May we all experience the depth of your grace and love, and may your peace that surpasses all understanding guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, as I say this prayer together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you. As we come in agreement right now, let us serve you with gladness, come before your presence with singing, and enter your gates with thanksgiving. I pray for us that our lips will joyfully sing of your praises, not just in sanctuaries, but in every moment of our lives. Strengthen us through your Holy Spirit to be bold as we share your love and to be beacons of light wherever you have placed us. May we all embrace the truths of your word, reflecting your faithfulness through all generations. We claim victory over sickness, over spiritual laziness, over the spirit of ungratefulness and every chain that binds in the name of Jesus. We pray for protection against the snares of the enemy, and we stand firm on the promise of your salvation. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Amen. If you were blessed by this message, type the word Amen in the comment section below. I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. You can help us reach more people and spread the gospel by sharing the video with a friend or family member who needs the blessing of this prayer. Click the like button and subscribe to our daily Jesus devotional channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all those who support us. You're blessed to be a blessing. For those who want to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, I urge you to receive God's grace with an open and repentant heart. Start where you are. Your past doesn't matter. Jesus came to seek and to save those that are lost. God loves you, and it is not His will that anyone should perish but for all to come to repentance. Say this simple salvation prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I am a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. 
I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and life. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, hear my prayer. I pray, thank you, Lord, for saving me. Amen. Now that you have prayed this prayer, ask a pastor to baptize you. God bless you.